First at 530, continuing coverage of the biggest primary day of the year. Voters in 15 states, including Virginia, are casting their ballots right now. You still have time to do this. The first polls close about 90 minutes from now. Today's results will likely shape the race for the White House going forward. Our Simone D'Alba has been at the Fairfax County Government Center polling location all afternoon. Have we seen any change in the turnout since we checked in with you? You guys, we have not. You know, voter turnout has just been really low for this primary. Maybe the rain had something to do with that this morning. You know, a lot of people try to vote before they go into work. Also, people do try to vote when they come out of work. So there's still plenty of time if you want to come on down. But the numbers right now, Republicans are at 7.3 percent. Democrats are at 6 percent for the voter turnout so far. Again, that's just a small picture of the numbers, but it is still low for perspective. Um, I did want to mention we've been talking to both uh, both Democrats and Republicans. And you know what? Each of them have had a lot to say about the economy, about immigration, about all of those things that are really top of mind. And we're hearing people say that their personal finances are something that are really driving them to the polls right now. They're saying, look, we're paycheck to paycheck. We're frustrated and we want something to change. Of course, you know, everything that comes with politics, we're seeing people turning out to vote for their favorite candidate, whether it's uh, for the Democrats, Joe Biden, you know, whether it's Nikki Haley for the Republicans. I I will mention the amount of Nikki Haley voters that I have personally spoken with not only today but also in Fauquier County when we went out there about a week ago. It did surprise me and a lot of them are saying, hey, we just don't want to vote for Donald Trump. So Nikki Haley is who they are currently looking at. I mentioned earlier I spoke with one guy who said he voted for Ron DeSantis. So we're just kind of running the gamut here today. But I did want to mention that we sent our reporters out to ask about the issues that are bringing people to the polls. And our Matt Gregory is in Prince William County and Matt, we just keep hearing about the rising costs that people are facing, the day to day inflation, how it's impacting their personal finances. And, you know, how did that factor into how people are voting today? Well, that was the interesting part, Simone, because the people we talked to said personally they're doing just fine. It's the overall economy they're worried about. But like you were saying, one of the things that we've been talking about today is the low voter turnout, whatever the reasons may be. This is one of the lowest turnouts in Prince William County in recent memory. So the folks we talked to all seem like when it came to the economy, they were reading from the same script. Like I said, personally, they feel like they're doing great. They're just worried about others. On election day, we went to the two busiest polling places in Prince William County, and you can see even those spots pedestrian turnout at best. Low turnout today. Why do you think that is? I think everybody knows who's going to win. By noon, the Heritage Hunt Golf Club's polling place in Gainesville had the most voters, so we asked them, how do you feel the economy is going? Such a personal question because everybody's economy yeah. is, is different. For me, it's not bad. Yeah. But for a lot of people, I guess it is. Personally, I can't complain, yeah. but I look and see how a lot of people are struggling. Most of those voters were retired, so we went to the next most active polling place, Bristow Run Elementary. We got a similar sentiment there, folks doing fine personally, but concerned about others. I'm in pretty good shape, but uh, I don't think everybody is. Even with grocery prices eating the most from American family budgets in 30 years, the people we talked to aren't hurt yet. Still, one woman summed up all their views on the economy overall. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's going positive. It's definitely negative for a lot of people right now. But even with the two candidates pretty much decided at this point, the voters we talked to said a lot can happen before the general election. One thing that's guaranteed, and that changes. Yeah. And who knows what now November will bring. By then, the amount of money in their wallets may determine who they vote for. When we spoke with the Prince William County Registrar's Office last, our last check, they said they had about 6% voter turnout. That's between the actual votes today, as well as mail-in voting and early voting. And I wanted to know what the average normally is for a presidential primary. They said they normally see numbers in the teens to the 20%. So like I said, a historic low voter turnout for Prince William County, at least in recent memory. In Prince William County in Bristow, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you in the studio. Yeah, Matt, it sounds like this sense of inevitability is keeping a lot of people at home because they feel like they already know the outcome and what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Matt. And of course, soon all eyes will be on the November general election, which is just eight months away. And even if Americans don't agree on who to vote for, and we've seen the polling just like you have, they don't. 
Most say that they feel exhausted just thinking about politics. According to a recent CBS News poll, more than 40% of voters feel a rematch between President Biden and former President Trump will be, quote, depressing. Arthur